This video is part of a series of short videos on asthma and how it is treated. They are listed here in a logical order that you might choose to watch them in. If you want, click on an icon to leave this video and watch another one earlier in the sequence. You can easily come back to this one later. For some patients with asthma, treatment with steroid puffers or combination puffers does not prevent asthma symptoms. We call this type of asthma severe asthma. Patients with severe asthma often need to go and see an asthma specialist to find out why they are not responding to the usual asthma medications. One of the commonest causes of severe asthma is that the steroid in the puffer that they have been given is not strong enough to control the inflammation. In many of these patients, the inflammation can be controlled if they take much higher doses of steroids. Sometimes this can be done by taking more puffs of a steroid puffer, but occasionally patients need to take steroid pills called prednisone. Often when these patients take prednisone pills, then they can reduce the inflammation, which prevents the airway from narrowing as much, and this reduces the amount of symptoms the patient has. One of the big concerns with giving patients prednisone is that there are side effects. Some of these side effects are the same things that were misconceptions about steroid puffers. These pills really can do things like increase your body fat, slow your growth before puberty, and weaken your bones, giving you an increased risk of fractures. This is why if you have severe asthma, you should be looked after by a specialist so that they can keep checking to make sure that you are on the lowest dose of prednisone that is needed to manage your asthma. This is also why we are continuing to do research on severe asthma to find a way to treat it without patients having to take prednisone. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you would like to watch another in the series, click on that icon here. If not, Thank you for watching.